other side of the ball here of the must sit, we have the must bench players. And I want you to give me three players that you just have no faith in going into this week 11 matchups here. Give me a player, the first one that you are going to bench. I mean, this name should come up every single week for him just because he's been terrible this year. I'm going with number one is going to be Najee Harris. Again, he was one of my picks to be a complete bust at the beginning of the year. He's going up against a Cincinnati defense that's starting to get healthy, um, has not really done anything. He's got one touchdown on the year. He's losing carries right now to Jalen Warren. So if that tells you anything, Najee Harris should not be in your lineup. He should not be in anybody's lineup unless you are, have running backs on by or they're injured. That's the only way that I would even think think about putting Najee Harris. I actually benched him in my league and put Brian Robinson in uh, instead of him. Wow. So, number one, hands down, him. Yeah, uh, scoring one touchdown so far this season on a very bad Pittsburgh Steelers team is not very good for your fantasy team or the team in general moving forward. Give me the second player that has a much bench this weekend. Must bench? <laughs> And again, not that I thought I would even come close to to saying anything like this, but, uh, m- well, Mac Jones. <laughs> if you have Mac Jones, that's kind of – we're embroiled in, 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 a, in a quarterback controversy there. And if you pay any attention to any of our, our brothers and sister groups, uh, <laughs> you see people get kind of heated over the Mac Jones, Bailey Zappi whole situation there. And again, it's going up against a, a – New England, or excuse me, a New York Jets defense that has been amazing. They're on pace to become the first defense ever to be ranked last in the league one year and be ranked inside the top 10 the very next, I believe. I uh, Actually, they might even be the top-ranked defense currently. Yeah. Um, so I think Mac Jones is going to struggle mightily, and it, this could be the week that Belichick says screw it and pulls the plug on him and, and puts Billy Zappi in. Not a good start if you have any other option do not, please, for all it's worth, do not start Mac Jones this week. Yeah, and what's crazy is I'm actually looking at our league right now, our like our man our league, and Justin Fields and Daniel Jones are both available in our league for some reason. So there's definitely other options out there. How to, is how is Combs not picked up Fields yet? I, I don't I don't know. That's his boy. But yeah, I uh, mean. Now you said, now you said that I might, go, I might go drop Rodgers and pick up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't. Rodgers played last night. So I can't even drop him. I'm like, I'll pick him up. Right. So, uh, Tori. <laughs> my, my, my five and five first place team. Oh, okay. Simmer down now. Uh, I got one to three game winning streak at four and six. I'm coming. <laughs> but uh, no, give me. Not. I just beat you two weeks ago. Oh, sorry. I'm on a two game winning streak. I win one more. Then it's a winning streak, right? But, anyways. Number three, give me the third player that is a must bench this weekend. Oh, there's a lot of pick. Cooper Cup. I'm just kidding. Cooper <laughs> Cup's not playing. Please don't don't. If you have him in your lineup, please don't listen to me. Don't do that. Yeah, he is on the <laughs> IR. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're not not going to happen. Third one to bench this week, just because that defense again is so good, and he hasn't done nothing, and he's been kind of on my bust list the last few weeks. Anyways, it is Michael Pittman. Um, Paris Campbell starting to pick up a lot of the stuff. Matt Ryan's back in at the quarterback position and he's starting to favor. He started to favor Paris Campbell before he got the benching and now he's back in. But even now he has a better rapport with Paris Campbell. Um, not that Michael Pittman's a terrible receiver. He's not. He just doesn't have the rapport with, with Matt Ryan that Paris Campbell does right now. Um, and again, next year that'll probably change because um, Aaron Rodgers will probably be playing for the Colts because the Colts like to go after aging quarterbacks. Yeah. So, <laughs> if that is the case, me as a passive Colts fan, be very, very upset, but also intrigued all at the same time. Uh, also, on the flip side of that, Michael Pittman is not performing as well because if you actually watch the games, they're double teaming him almost every play. So they are basically saying we're taking you out of. Out of the game, so so Paris definitely has a chance to excel. For checking out that man hour clip, if you're interested in the next video, click the link right here. Of course, subscribe right here, and always join us Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. East Coast time, right here where you're watching this clip. And as always, man hour nation, rise up.